my next brief upload is with regard to um, negative and positive habits. Um, they say we're born perfect and that our growth and maturation is what affects our experiences negatively or positively as a person's self-autonomous lifestyle choices um, predominate. The little matter I'm going to raise in this little upload is with regard to the negative and positive experiences that have been occurring since I gave birth. Um, as I've mentioned, there have been a few developments in society that I haven't been fully consensual with regard to and that I haven't been fully furnished with the facts of either and that are very much um, relevant and as a consequence of my experience, my role, my purpose. Mm -hmm. So as I've mentioned, there's been a lot of disinformation and defamation. And as I've also mentioned, there's been a lot of withholding of information. So the individuals that have been imposing upon me and exploiting from my experiences and that have been just offending the constitution of the country and the Declaration of Human Rights have been um, quite contradictory in their own behaviours when not actually adhering to best practices. Um, as a mother, um, I have to say I'm quite astonished and as a teacher I'm quite astonished with regard to the hypocrisy that I'm enduring of individuals that are preaching at the pulpit, this is just a metaphor, and washing their dirty hands behind the altar as they say. So the issue that I'm raising is with regard to the breaches of the laws that be um, of these culprits that are very very substantial theft and very serious offence to faith and family um, these individuals have facilitated and cooperated with harmful behaviours and habits that I wouldn't be comfortable with as an adult and that I wouldn't like being displayed to others especially young influential or young people so this is with regard to my personal habits and my personal space and my rights and entitlements and the obligations that have not been fulfilled or met and the contradiction of the individuals that have not paid their dues or made amends or been of any reparations that are overdue. So the violation of privacy is quite serious and judge not lest you be judged is another little significant matter of this, especially when your hands aren't so clean um, when offending faith and family. So as I've mentioned, um, proximity, privacy and protection have been violated and there have been individuals that have been causing disharmony. And that isn't a positive example to be setting to young people. So this is just a, a huge concern at the moment with regard to hypocrisy, 